Hey guys, what's up? My name is Fern and this is my plant tour. So I had put off filming this video for quite a while just because things weren't like exactly how I envisioned or perfect. My house wasn't perfectly clean, but then I, you know, I've just kind of gotten over that and I'm just like, I don't even care. I just want to show you my plants. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Let's, um, go check them out. So I'm gonna... So I'm gonna start in our living room. Um, let's start with this guy down here. So this is my Dracaena that I have had, honestly, for probably, yeah, a couple of years now. And it's one of those plants that I just kind of ignore and it just still is alive. So um, yeah, it always gets brown tips that I have to cut off. So all of its leaves are like strangely shapen from me cutting them off, but that's okay. And then we have our giant spider plant hanging from the ceiling. She has literally hundreds of babies. Like this, this spider plant is crazy. I've never seen anything like it. Um, I always take babies off of her and she's just like massive. Um, yeah, so she's very cool. And then a dragon tree that we picked up a few weeks ago as well. A random, this is a north facing window by the way a random succulent that somebody gave to us a bromeliad that my boyfriend really liked it's one of those like flaming sword um flaming sword ones so it's pretty cool and you put water in the center and that's how it drinks a jade plant this lighting is not very good by the window i'm sorry about that this is a um green flame fern and it's in a really cool pot that i found i really like it a variegated jade which is really pretty a staghorn fern it's just a young one if anybody knows when it's gonna get like the staghorn shape leaves let me know how long that usually takes and then a starfish sansevieria he recently put out this new like spike um and it was just so crazy to witness him just like burst out of there and push these two apart it was something something spectacular and then my skindapsis in the corner which i recently moved closer to the window because i want to encourage growth even though it's already growing i just noticed that some of its new leaves aren't as big like its old ones in the center are, are huge um so yeah i just really love him and i want him to do well so i moved him there and then my ZZ, which I love. She doesn't ask for nothing from nobody. She just chills. I really want a Raven ZZ. That's on my wish list for sure. And then a um, snake plant that is in a cool pot as well on our coffee table. We've had her for a while too. And then going into our dining room, this is definitely the room where most of the plants are. This is a west facing window. Um, yeah, I'll start over here by the window. So I have my aloe vera right here, which I've honestly had for years. And she's massive and just like growing wild. There's a new one coming out right there. I'm just noticing. Um, yeah, she's very cool. Um, and yeah, just does her own thing. Cactus that I've had for a few years. This is my variegated umbrella plant that I picked up when I was in Vancouver a few weeks ago. She's got some new growth coming in there. My string of hearts, I have two of them sitting here. Um, I saw this one at a store and I didn't have one yet so I freaked out and I was like, oh my gosh. And I bought it and then I went to a different store and I saw this one. And I was like, wow, I need this one. So I bought both of them and I'm going to pot them together to make a bigger plant. Um, this little succulent thing that I have had in this cool little um, crystal shaped thing for a long time. These two succulents which I potted together. And then my baby string of pearls which is putting out some new growth too. I love string of pearls. It's such, such a cool plant. I want like a really long big one. And then some of my skindapsis propagating because I noticed these leaves came off and it already has a little root in there so I'm excited about that 
And then we have our bird of paradise here. He actually needs some water. I'm gonna give him some water today. Um, and I noticed yesterday that he has a new leaf coming in right here. So that's exciting. And this is my ginseng plant on the table. And then on this shelf, I have, this is a spider plant that I put together, like a bunch of her babies from the mother plant over there. Um, so I just have a bunch of random spider plants around our house because of her. So this right here, you guys, <laughs> this is my pride and joy. This is Greta, my pothos. Um, and I have had her for years and years. And look at how big she is. She is massive. Like she is literally, I have to like put her, her vines under here because they'd get stepped on because they're so long. Um, so she is a Marble Queen Pothos, I'm pretty sure. For a long time I thought she was a Golden Pothos, but then she started putting out these really white ones. So I think she's a Marble Queen, um, but she does have some yellow. Like to be honest with you, I wonder if she's both, if there was like a Golden and a Marble in here. Um, I don't know if that happens from like when you buy Pothos at the, at the store, um, but yeah, she is just, I love her so much. And some of her leaves are absolutely massive. Um, let's find a big one. Like this? Look how big this is compared to my hand. It's crazy. These are huge, huge leaves. She is just thriving. Like, wow. Like nothing. She has some leaves that are like completely white almost. Yeah, she is just, oh, that one has some brown. Oh. Um... Yeah, I'm just obsessed with her. I love her. <laughs> um, and I also have a few babies that I've propagated off of her as well. Um, so underneath here, I have my Alocasia Poly or Alocasia African Mask um, that I just recently repotted in terracotta here. Um, it's actually been doing really well so far. I was a little nervous to, to have this plant, but so far so good. And then in the corner here, we have our Alocasia Regal Shield. Her name is Frida. Um, and she has, yeah, absolutely massive leaves. And they're so pretty. They're like velvety, if you can see in the light. Um, yeah, they have such a beautiful sheen. And she's just thriving. Since we got her a few months ago, she's just been putting out so much new growth. And um, yeah, she's just, she's really happy in this corner. And then beside her, I have my umbrella plant, um, which I recently, it was like falling over, so I recently staked it. Um, but when I was doing it, I accidentally broke off like a whole chunk of growth. So that, I was kind of bummed out about that, but whatever, it's fine. And then here I have a plant shelf, which I actually just built um, to make space for more plants. So I'll show you what is on here. I'm not sure, like, I'm trying to prepare for the winter and uh, I don't know, if any of you are from Vancouver Island, can you please tell me like how your plants do in the winter and what you do to prepare for it? Because we have such dark, dreary winters and um, yeah, I'm just nervous about them getting enough light and I'm nervous about having to move all the plants away from the window because it's gonna be cold. Um, so yeah, if you have any tips on how to prepare for the winter, let me know because I'm considering getting grow lights. Um, I also wanna get a humidifier, but yeah. Anyways, I'll show you what is on here for now, although this will probably change. So I have a Wandering Jew right here, which is also given to us by a friend. I have my rubber tree right here, my watermelon peperomia. And then I have a little fiddle leaf fig here, just a little baby one. And then I have my, what are you called again? Philodendron Brazil, um, just hanging here. It's got lots of new growth coming in as well. It has little baby leaves um, that have just come out, which is really cute. It's not focusing, okay, whatever. And then I have my Hoya pubicalix, which is putting out all of these crazy, crazy things. But yeah, I really love this plant and I love it in the pot that it's in here. It's so cute. 
and then down here I have my humidity lovers so I have my Calathea white fusion or wait is that what it's called yeah I think so um yeah Calathea white fusion um which is absolutely beautiful can definitely be a picky plant though and then I have a Fetonia back there I have a rabbit's foot fern which I was so excited to find the other day it's just so crazy like what the heck nature is weird man um yeah so I love her and then I have my Maranta and then I have a Stromanthi tri trio star right here that I also got a few weeks ago in Vancouver she just is unfurling this leaf here there's another one there and I just noticed also that she has another one coming in here so that's so cool oh my gosh this plant is just so beautiful I saw it and I was like wow I need you um so I definitely want to get a humidifier and put these guys close to it and then over here I have my Monstera. Her name is Mavis. She's the first Monstera that I got. She's actually a birthday gift. Um, and yeah, she's thriving, living her best life. She's put out quite a few new leaves over the summer. Um, yeah, I just, I just love her. She's huge and wild and um, yeah, she's absolutely fantastic. She just chills on that stand there. And then over here I have my Neon Pothos, which I honestly had so much trouble with when I first brought it home. Um, I don't know what was, I think I was overwatering it because it was getting so many brown leaves um, that I had to cut off. So she's got so many spots where I just had to completely chop leaves off. Um, but she seems pretty happy now that hasn't, that hasn't happened. I've just been letting her dry out pretty pretty well and then I have over here this is one of Greta's babies that I've propagated um, which I'm actually so excited because I noticed that she these are um, finally putting out new growth on like the same uh, like stalk stem vine <laughs> you know what I mean so it'll start trailing um, yes yeah, so I'm super excited about that so I think that's all of my plants in here Okay, so now I'm in the kitchen, which is quite messy, so I'm just going to go straight to the plants. So, um, right here is my Hoya Carnosa Tricolor, which I just got, like, last week. And she has so many, like, completely white leaves like this. It's crazy. Um, yeah, I just thought she was so beautiful, and I love that she's in this hanging basket. So, yeah, I really want to put um, hooks in the ceiling soon so I can hang more plants, because right now she's just kind of, like, on the wall. So she needs a better spot. I have an umbrella plant in water here. This is the part that like broke off of mine. So I don't know if it's going to do anything. But it's just chilling there for now. This is my Syngonium or Arrowhead plant. Which I absolutely love. I love these plants. Like they're so beautiful. Um, and I recently learned that they're actually vining plants. So they can like trail down. Which is crazy. So yeah this guy. Oh my gosh. He puts out so much new growth. Like, it's absolutely insane. He was small when I got him, like, in spring. And now he's just massive. Like, yeah, I can't believe it. But, yeah, I just think these are really cool plants. Beside that, I have another spider plant. I actually rescued this one from my work. And now it's thriving, living its best life. A succulent in this little hanging thing here. Whoops, I totally just broke part of it off. Wow, great. Okay. I always break succulents for some reason. And then this right here is my pride and joy. I have to pick it up to show you properly. So this, my friends, oh my gosh. This is my baby Monstera Thai constellation. I found her um, when I was in Vancouver. There's actually somebody who sells like rare and exotic plants and our Airbnb was literally four minutes away from her and she happened to have one of these um, small Thai constellations available. So obviously I freaked out and had to go get it. Um, she's putting out a new leaf here. I've been waiting weeks for it to unfurl um, but she's just taking her time and that's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm just so excited to watch her grow and I cannot believe that I have one. So I'll keep you guys updated on her. Her name is Alaya. 
couple of random succulents. Oh, this is another cool one that I got from that lady I was just talking about. I'll link her below. Um, she's called North Shore Tropicals if you're in Vancouver. Or I think she ships Canada-wide too. But um, yeah, we got a variegated Hindu rope from her. Which is really cool. And then jade plants. My African violet, which I saved this from my work and it did not have a single bloom. And for months and months it was just like this. And um, then it started growing and now it's blooming. And yeah, it's just beautiful to witness. And then there's a weird succulent down here. That's my boyfriend's. <laughs> and then our fiddle leaf fig here, Frank. He's um, taller than me, actually. He's beautiful. He keeps dropping leaves on the bottom, but it doesn't happen on the top, so I think he's okay, but it it stresses me out whenever he does. And then over here is my Croton, which I honestly neglected for a couple of years, and now I have it in a lot of light, and it's putting out new growth, so yeah, I'm excited about that. I think there's a succulent back there. And I have a string of hearts here and some water. This is my coffee plant. If you guys don't know, I'm absolutely obsessed with coffee. I love coffee so much. It's one of my like greatest pleasures in life. Um, so I had to get a coffee plant, obviously, and I had to put it beside my coffee maker, so <laughs> yes. And then along our windowsill above the um, sink, I have another Monstera Deliciosa. This is a young one. She doesn't have any, oh my gosh, she's, oh, I think she's getting sunburned. She's like right up against this west facing window. Um, I'm gonna turn her around. She doesn't have any fenestrated leaves yet, but she is still beautiful. What is that? Maybe it's just dirt, I don't know. She's got some spots on her. But yeah, this is her biggest leaf. Um, and we just wanted to get a little one just to watch it grow, so yeah. This is my variegated Hoya Carii. Um, I found this when I was in Vancouver as well, and I just think it's like really cool. And I'm obsessed with variegated plants, so I had to get that. This is my boyfriend's bonsai, which always tries to die on us. And then this is my Hindu rope or Hoya. Carnosa com or Hoya, 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 oh my god, Hoya Carnosa Compacta, um, which used to be just like one little thing like this when I got her a few months ago, and now it started trailing and it's growing this one, and it keeps putting out new growth here. This just came out like a few days ago, I swear, and now it's already like full leaves and it's putting out new ones up here. So I'm super stoked about that. I love it so much. I love um, Hindu ropes. They're definitely one of my favorite plants. And then what else? I just have another one of um, Greta's babies up here. To be honest with you, I don't know how well a plant is gonna do up here because it's like higher than the window, which I don't know if you, is that like a no-no? Like, I don't know. So I'm just kind of testing it with this one to see if it's going to grow up there. And then I also forgot about, this is another one of Greta's babies. This one really needs water. I'm gonna do that after. Let me set it here so I don't forget. And then another little spider plant. I think that's all for in here. And then I'm gonna go to the bathroom. So in the bathroom, we have a couple of plants inside the shower. So this is my um, maiden hair fern, which tried to die on me a few weeks ago, but I have revived her, which I'm super proud of. I honestly thought she was dead, um, but here she is, thriving. Um, I have her on a pebble tray, and she's in the shower, obviously. I give her so much water. I cut off all her brown stuff, and yeah, she is born again. And then we have little spider plants on each side. A spider plant here. And then hanging on the shower bar, we just have a, or the shower curtain rod, I guess. We just have a Boston fern and a kangaroo paw fern, which is really cool. This is actually one of my favorite ferns and it's pretty easy. Um, it doesn't look too good right now. I think I maybe overwatered it. I'm not sure. I can't, I can't figure out what would be wrong with it, but um, yeah, I've got to keep an eye on it and try to figure that out because I really do like this plant. And my battery's dying, so I'm going to try to just rip through the last few here. This is in our bedroom at an east-facing window. 
So I have my Christmas cactus, which I am in love with. This is another plant that I've had for a long time. And um, yeah, she's just thriving. And if you haven't seen Christmas cactus blooms, they're absolutely insane. Like I, that's why I fell in love with this plant because I was so shook by, by its blooms. So I can't wait until it blooms. Okay, yep, my battery died. But um, yeah, I was just talking about how beautiful the blooms on her are. Next beside her we have my Pilea, which is honestly not that big of a plant, but it already has put out babies. Um, yeah, seems to really like this window here. And then I have a little lipstick plant here. This really cool cactus in this really cool pot. And then I have another one of my problem children here. <laughs> This is my sensitive plant, which is really cool if you haven't seen these before. Um, they close up when they're touched. Um, yeah, really, really interesting plant, um, but really hard to keep alive in my experience. So it requires moist soil. It requires a lot of humidity, so it's on the pebble tray. Uh, this actually is a little too full right now, but that's fine it probably won't even mind um when i came home from vancouver i was only gone for like four or five days i came home this and the maiden fern were like the maiden hair fern were like shriveled to a crisp and i revived them both i was posting about this plant on my instagram yesterday if you don't follow my plant instagram i'll put it on the screen here it's just i think at wild.awake11 um but yeah that's where i've been uh, posting solely about my plants and following like all my planty people on there so it's put out these beautiful like fluffy blooms which are so cool it's just a really interesting plant and then there's just a couple more that i want to mention that aren't out with the rest yet because they're new um so they're just like in isolation i'm making sure they don't have any pests etc etc so one of them oh my gosh it's so heavy this is a monstera adansonii which i have been looking for for quite some time now and I just, it just never like aligned for me to find one. Um, so my boyfriend actually found this the other day and he texted me and he's like, do you want it? And I was like, oh my God, of course I do. Um, so yeah, it's just in our spare bedroom right now. And um, yeah, I can't wait to move it out. She's got so much new growth coming in. Like it's absolutely crazy. Um, and she's huge. I think this is a 10 inch pot. And um, yeah, she is massive and so beautiful. So I'm super excited about her. And then another new one that we got that's in here is this giant euphorbia. Um, we actually found this for $35 and my boyfriend really wanted it. So we have this giant um, cactus now, which is actually pretty, pretty cool. And then just a couple babies in here. I can move this one out soon. I want to plant it with the other wandering Jew. And then... I just found this angel wing begonia yesterday for like a dollar 79 so i had to get that obviously and then there's this random is this a kalanchoe i don't know but it's just like a crazy random plant that always gets dead pieces at the bottom i have to pull off but um yeah this one isn't new it's just chilling in here i'm not sure why okay so i think that that was all of my plants i don't think i've missed any um yeah, so if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about my plants, please leave them down below. I would absolutely love to chat with you. I love talking about plants. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video if you liked it. Um, subscribe to my channel if you want to. That would be awesome. And um, yeah, let's chat in the comments. Okay, bye.